This is Ryan Thompson, Assistant AD for Athletic Communications here at Davenport University. And today I'm being joined by head wrestling coach, Jamie Boyd. How are you, Jamie? Good. Good to see you. You guys uh, haven't been wrestling since January the 30th, so you have a little bit of a layoff. Yeah. But you're heading into the preview of the Super Regional that'll take place starting Friday at Tiffin. Um, yep. What do you think coming in, you haven't, like I said, haven't wrestled in a little while. Does that play a factor into what you're going to do this weekend? Um, normally it would, but I think most teams um, across the board have been dealing with um, a lack of competition this year. So they've had those long, long periods um, between matches. Uh, we've done a pretty good job as far as how we are structuring our workouts. Um, obviously not to overwork the kids, uh, give them breaks here and there. Um, but really, you know, get everything ready for this weekend. Um, actually, we just finished up um, with our morning workout here uh, today, and uh, we'll be heading out uh, a little bit later this afternoon, um, heading down to Tiffin. Um, all the guys, you know, excited. Like I said, we've had good workouts these last few weeks, um, and then we're looking to um, have some success this year. Being in our second year, I'm actually being able to qualify guys for uh, Division Two Nationals. You know, how many guys will you be sending this weekend? And a normal year, uh, obviously 10, there's 10 weight classes. We send in 10 kids. Um, both are 33 pounders, um, sustained injury. Um, happens to be their foot, both of them broke their foot. It's just, you know, not been a good year for, for either one of them uh, from that standpoint. And it just happened at the wrong time uh, this year. So we're taking, you know, our nine starters instead of our 10. Um, so we'll be short at one way class, um, but the nine that we are taking, and each one of them knows, you know, what they need to do in order to get out of this region and qualify for nationals. You know, are there a couple guys that in particular you think can really make a good showing this weekend? Um, I think off the top of my head, um, I have to say uh, Sam Greco and uh, Jordan Ringler. That's not to say that uh, the, the rest of our team doesn't have a shot because everybody does, um, especially in a tournament like this. Uh, but we've we've had tough competition this year to prepare us for that. So even though it's been small, we've had seven seven duels um, in our conference, a couple outside of our conference. But every team that we've wrestled this year, except for one, um, has been ranked nationally. So you know, as far as getting ready, you, you couldn't ask for a better better slate of opponents um, leading up to this. But yeah, Jordan Ringler, Sammy Greco. They've had excellent workouts these last few weeks um, mentally, which is the big thing. You know, we always say, you know, or I, I at least say to our guys, um, the one thing that separates, you know, the people who are successful from the ones that are not is what's between your ears. You know, we, we all have some athleticism. You know, it's how you use that and how you prepare when you step out there on the mat. And like I said, it's, it's usually a mental thing um, that gets you to that next level. And those guys are ready. Well, that's fantastic. You know, you talked about being in the GLVC the first year for your team. You've been through some of the wars now. Kind of go back and recap this season. I know you weren't able to win a duel, but this is one of the toughest leagues in Division Two. Yeah, like I said, you know, those teams that we were wrestling were all ranked. Um, good individual matches. You know, the, the team score obviously wasn't even close to being in our favor, but we had a lot of close matches with a lot of ranked individuals. Um, and like I said, that's really preparing us for this weekend and hopefully getting guys to nationals and they'll be for that too as well. Well, best of luck this weekend. And I know you guys will do it with the best you can and hopefully we can get a couple guys into that national field. Yep. Looking forward to it. All right. Thanks, Jamie. Yep.